Hello everybody, Brad Pointer here with another episode of Fallout Shelter. We are still taking our wonderful and just mean people and we are taking them on quests. We have maxed, maxed people. Now, no one has pointed it out to me yet, but I kind of saw that Lucas Sims who I had been touting as a maxed out dweller is not. He, he was short on charisma and intelligence. So he has been replaced on the team for the moment and is back in training at this, at this particular time. So if you caught that today, those, the, the first one just went up today. So if you catch that and you say, Oh my goodness, if you caught it, said well Brad didn't change it for two episodes well this is the third episode and I am changing it now now I kind of regret my weapon choices for this little group here uh, I mean we've got a all AOE team all the time so that's a little that's a little aggravating to me because we're not gonna have one death machine quick killer that kills one and starts the chain reaction going faster but when we do things like that it doesn't really matter when we're on a quest like this we just blow them all to smithereens and roll with it so we're going through here hoping for good loot running into rad roaches uh, this quest is the learn more about the Boston Bugle and we are we're gonna learn about it um, it sounds like a newspaper which I think it's supposed to be and we may be trying to get on the front page I don't know I'm personally not that not that uh, pub publicity oriented you know I don't know if I want to be on the first page on the front page of the paper for anything you know and my high school counselor would tell you that if I was on the front page, it was because I did something dastardly. Um, but that's been 20 years ago, and Miss Wallace can suck it. So we have that. Now let's go on down here. Get on into this little room here. I think I've done all right with my life, considering how lazy I am. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. I've unleashed these little buggers on a room full of unsuspecting critters and vermin. They're just, they're not ready for this. They're not ready for the amount of Brad that I'm dishing out to them. Boom! Everybody died, one shot. And then they all went home. So this isn't typical. You know, in case you're just tuning into this series for the first time, uh, this is because I sent, I always send out the best of my dwellers, um, regardless of the mission level. And I think that this was like, the recommended level for this was like level six. So, yeah, if I just sent level six, or level, you know, whatever it was with low level weapons, then yes, this would be more challenging. But we're not about that life. You know, challenging is for tough quests, is for level 50 quests. That's when we want the challenge. For these little things where we're just getting a little, you know, namby-pamby, you know, maybe a couple of blues, maybe. I mean, I don't even think we've gotten a blue yet, have we? Let's see. Yeah, we've gotten an enhanced BB gun so far. So, you know, for this, I'm not going to, just for the sake of having a challenge for a crappy loot, I'm just going to plow through these and hope that the next one in the quest chain gives me something cool, which generally it has. These, these quest lines that have, um, you know, a bunch of low-level quests, generally they still give you something cool towards the end so that's why we're even bothering with these and who knows you know they might sneak in a legendary somewhere you never know if nothing else 
we know that we don't have to worry about stem packs ever. Too bad we can't hold more than 55 back in the vault. And I'm not building more rooms just to have more space for stem packs. I'm just not doing it. Uh, I can stagger my uh, expeditions well enough that in the time that it takes me to build back up to 55 or the 25 that I need to send with with people um, generally I send 25 and 25 as you can see this time I didn't it was 25 and 10 or something like that because I didn't have enough of the uh, what do you call them to do that what do you call them right away um, this time you know it because it doesn't matter you know in this one but generally uh, you can get away with unless you run into a vault full of ghouls uh, or a vault full of rad scorpion bosses you probably not gonna worry too much about the silly you know the radiation damage um, now if you're in level 50 you got a bunch of bunch of ghouls and rad scorpion bosses and stuff then yeah you know, I would have probably regretted only bringing 10. But the good news is, is, in those missions, they tend to hand you at least a few, a few Radways. Oh, so you're the new kid on the block, eh? Interested in getting your uh, blah, blah, blah? We don't mind some friendly competition. We're not going in. We don't want to go into the newspaper business. If you're so great, then why is your vault infested with vermin? Yeah, everyone's in the wasteland looking for fame. Who has time for stomping bugs? We have to beat Vault 404. Okay. Hey, do you think I'm overseer material? I, I don't know who asked that. It depends on which one of you ask. If you have to seek validation for me, then obviously not. Well, that's that's kind of a very, you know turned on and tuned in kind of kind of answer there buddy very uh, philosophical you have to ask if your vaults if you're that if you're overseer material then you're probably not and that reminds me of the guys on the let's play reddit you know a lot of them go in there and say man I hate my voice should I do let's plays you know hey I'm I'm not really, I'm having trouble recording my first episode, should I do, you know, what should I do to overcome my fear, blah, 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 and it's like, well, if you're asking this question, then maybe, I'm not one to crush anybody's dreams, now don't get me wrong here, but if you yourself are questioning whether or not you should do it, then maybe you shouldn't, I don't know. You know, and that could be totally terrible advice, too, because, you know, everybody has their self-doubts. You know, I'm sure Mark Plyer and Jack Septic Eye and Generic B and those kind of guys, I'm sure they said, well, do I really want to, you know, make a video? I, and other times, I know Jack Septic Eye was like, I'm going to do it, you know, because ah, I'm going to do it. I can't do a Jack Septic Eye, I'm sorry. But, you know, do you think he hesitated? No, he didn't hesitate. He just started doing it and throwing them up there and was like, geez, these suck. And then he got better and better until now he's got like a bozillion things. So that's kind of, I know that that was a tangent, <clears throat> but that that's kind of what that reminds me of. Um, that little saying that he said, you know, if you have to ask, if you got to val seek validation from me, then the answer is probably no. Well, if you have to seek validation from a group of strangers who have never heard your voice or who have never experienced you playing a video game to see if it's any good or not then maybe you've answered your own question and you're just wanting someone to say it's okay <clears throat> to not follow through on an idea that you have and if it's your dream then go for it but if it's just something that you want to try out to make some money then I personally say don't do it because, you know, I've been been doing this for about a year 
hadn't made any money yet. And you know what? It's because I don't care. I don't care about marketing myself. I don't care about going out and doing all that stuff. But let's sh let me shut up and get back to the thing at hand. Oh, sometimes I get off on a tangent, as you may or may not be aware, depending on how many of my videos that you've watched. Uh, time for a grand slam. We're looking for Racky Jobinson's baseball jersey. No relation to Jackie Robinson whatsoever. As you can see, they have different last names. Um, so here we go. Jackie Robinson. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Um, very influential person uh, from his time uh, dealing with baseball and segregation. And, you know, I just... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I often wonder what sports would be like if things had continued in the way that they that they did in the first you know in the first part of the 20th century I don't think we would have had so much so many great athletes coming out of the 20th century if everybody would have stayed so you know I don't know racist let's just put it let's just say that uh, I don't think that that things would have would have played out very well, you know. And maybe that's a good thing. I'm not much on sports, so you know, maybe if they hadn't, maybe you know, everybody would not be watching it anymore because they sucked. Look at all those white boys out there playing basketball. This is the most shameful thing I've ever seen. Now, not to say that white people can't play basketball, but I think it's much more feasible that there's a lot of there's a lot more incentive for young black men to perform in athletics and that's one of the things you know like little white kids are like oh grow up and be a, a doctor or a lawyer and young black kids i don't know this from personal experience because i'm not a young black kid but i'm assuming that they get a lot of advice you know you know ooh, you should you should work out and train hard and become an athlete you know so a lot of it is cultural Boom. oh man starting out the suck early on today's episode um, but yeah so I'm gonna shut up because you know that may be that may get me um, in trouble with the YouTube advertisers but basically all I'm saying is that I'm glad that it stopped you know I'm glad that all that 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 that, that part of our silliness as a culture is over now if we could just end some of this other silliness yes we could do a lot better in our lives okay here we go Ooh. And one thing that I want to say, you know, while I'm while I'm on these sensitive topics, is I think that some ethnicities perceive classism as racism because they are of a particular race. But if you're poor, it doesn't matter what color you are, people with money look down on you this is the way that the world works it's sad and it's terrible but if you are poor as a poor white person well mostly white as a poor mostly white person i can say that i get discriminated against as well and there are a lot of financial barriers that are put up in the way of poor people to prevent them from succeeding oh well you want oh you want a loan well where's your collateral well I ain't got no collateral because I'm poor oh well too bad and in those situations it don't matter what color you are it doesn't matter you know what your race color creed religion whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you don't have money they're not going to give you any money, okay? And then you, you don't have money, you're not going to, 
you're probably not going to go get a bunch of investors together to invest in a business idea that you had because they're like, well, if this guy was any good at business ideas, why is he poor? And it's a self, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy or something like that. It's a, you know, basically a, a, a cycle, a, a spiral of, of, hey, you can't, you don't have it, so you can't get it, so you don't have it, so you can't get it. So that's, that's kind of, I, I think that that, it's, it's, I mean, I'm not saying that racism doesn't exist. Believe me, I'm from Arkansas. I know it exists in spades, and I know firsthand in, you know, seeing the way that some of the people in this area act towards, you know, different folks. It's, it's shameful, and I know it exists, and I've seen it, and, you know, I don't like it. You made it. So I guess you found my note. I'm Henrietta. Hello, Henrietta. I hear you're looking for looking for Racky Jobinson's jersey. Well, coach has it. Well, who's coach? I loved him once, you know. But he's nothing but a cheating jerk. Oh my goodness. Drama. Here, use this to kill coach. And tell him Henrietta said hello. Okay. Boom. What is that? What do you say? Tell me what it is. Show me. Show me what it is. Oh, it's it's a plasma thrower. Ooh, and just by its default configuration, it is a legendary. So it's not better than that. It's not better than anything we've got right now, but it's better than some of our other stuff. So you better believe that that's coming out in the next mission. I'm about to make the dragon small, which is, oh, so delicious. It's about to be toasting up people. We got 12 hours to go on that build. So back to the game and off of my, my silliness. To sum up what I was saying though, not all things that are seen as racism are racism. They are different isms that people perceive that way because they are in both categories you know a poor black person may see classism as racism because they're black where a poor white person is going to say wait I'm same color as this cracker so why are they hating off why are they not doing things for me because it's not it's because you're poor it's not because of your color or your religion, or any of your other things that we humans tend to use to divide each other into convenient categories. So, off the off the, the soapbox, we will see what's going on. Hold on just a moment. All right, I'm back. Had to sign some permission slips, and it's like. Can I just sign one and say, yeah, do whatever for the rest of the year? I don't know. Maybe I'm too laid back as a parent. You know, but maybe I'm pretty sure that the school wouldn't send my kids anywhere where I wouldn't, that I would care that they would go. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like I'm signing a permission trip. We're going to go bungee jumping. Mm, mm, no. And even then, it'd be like, well, maybe, you know, I don't know, you want to? And, and I may be one, a bad parent or a good parent from whichever way you want to look at it. But, you know, why not? Why why 40 permission strips, slips a year? You know, why don't they just say, hey, this is what we've got planned for this year. So put put a check mark, mark by everything that you give permission for them to go on and then sign at the bottom. For more details, please click this link on the website of blah, 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 and we will tell you all about it. But no, I still get a thing with a thing that I have to scribble on. What's up with that, people? It's 2016. I mean, I know this is Arkansas. 
but we've got some of the some of the coolest state government websites that are out there you know some of the most functional so why not for our for our education why not for the kids okay so we did that we probably got told that we need to go someplace else blah 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 the thing about these quests story meh but look at this one this was a good one we got all kinds of yellow stuff out of this one well that's a happy day and that gun ooh it doesn't it look good well actually it doesn't it looks like somebody took an engine block wrapped some wires around it and put a handle on it and a stock but you know whatever I, it looks still looks cool all right now for the final one we're gonna have to spend some quantum some of our little quantum stuff is gonna have to be spent because it was a long one it was like I don't know 22 hours or something and I started it last night after we did the buying Oh, wrong direction. You know, that's what I always worried about, one direction. They're pretty young to be picking just a specific way to go this early on in their lives. Okay, so here we go. The tale continues. Now, this one, we're chasing down a dog. And I like dogs. I like, like dogs. I like pets. And so I really like pets in this game because they are cool. And they do things so any chance that i get to get a pet when i first saw this one i was like yes and i was hoping oh man they're gonna give me a pet for every quest nope so far they haven't given me one pet yet by the salvage team and i bet this one isn't gonna have one either oh look at this this is pretty big all right and it's getting hot in here because i have to turn the air conditioning off to do my recording because it's so loud and obnoxious being a window unit because once again I am poor um, I'm thankful to be that we have window units that's how poor I am so it gets a little warm up here in the in the hillbilly recording studio now would you guys hurry up oh yeah that's right this one this one the, one, the requirement for the quest was they have to have a laser rifle. You can't take anything but laser rifles. And I was like, man, that ain't cool. And I'm lucky because, you know, I've got focus laser rifle here, the laser rifle, which is how I want to pronounce railway rifle all the time, um, and another focus laser rifle. So I've got good laser rifles. I can't complain. But it's still like, man, why I've got all these really hip and groovy firearms and you guys are making me use, you know, some mid-tier weapons against these boogers. And I don't like that. I want to, I want complete pwnage and devastation. But, you know, I guess you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find that there's elevators all over the place in this one what okay I don't understand you look how many elevators there are unnecessary side-by-side -side elevators everywhere and these got oh yeah it was hiding see that box it was hiding you couldn't see it back here but hey you got a peek over here peek oh there he is okay come on fellers Going up here. Yeah, here we go. Got some more, some more little leaves. But you guys, yeah, they've got a full complement of everything. So they were good. They were stocked up. Once again, they they've still doled this out a few. Um, oh, crappiest blue ever. Um, doled this out a few uh, stem packs and radaways. You know, just to be like, hey, here's some, just in case you forgot. You'll probably die, but we didn't want to say we didn't give you a chance. Everybody die. Oh, yeah, that killed everybody. I am a murder house machine. Okay, ooh, hey, get back over there. What are you doing? I'll take whatever I can find. Well, 
Look, you gotta have some selectivity in your life, son. You can't just always take what's offered to you. Oh, the bite marks are so unbecoming. Oh, goodness, I didn't read the first part. By the way, did you see a girl and a dog? Uh, we got split up during the ambush. Oh, they're friends of the people. Okay. No? Do they know where, do you know where they went? Do you? There's a, there are a couple of tough cookies. I'm betting Sally would have taken cover in Vault 314. Something, something that I couldn't read fast enough. Weird place, huh? Yeah, the characters either talk too slow or too fast. They need to work on their pacing. And I don't mean walking back and forth in one area to... I don't know what it accomplishes. Oh, goodness. He's a glowing one. Lord, I was born a glowing one. Can we agree to shoot all the people? Yes. Okay. Can we agree to... Oh, my goodness. Shoot him. Bang. Okay, here. Need a thing. Wow. Boy, they gave us a bunch of right away in that last little bit. And that's a good thing, too, because look at all these rads. It's like they took my name and said, let's take the B off and then make it like that. Oh, yeah. Speak for yourself. I'm having a blast. That's right, buddy. Don't you let anybody tell you that your fun is wrong. Any critters out there? Did you get it? So I did. <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay. So now, man, this is just the ghouliest ghoul haven in the ghoul. I wish we had our big AOE guns that could kill everybody at once. That'd be nice. But no, they limited our selection in this one because they wanted this to have a certain amount of difficulty to it which I still managed to circumvent by sending in maxed out level 50s. It's like, oh, we're gonna make this one difficult. Oh, really? Blah, 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 blah. Shoot that sucker. Oh, it's getting a little stuttery. I bet the video is freaking out. And perhaps even my voice. Let's hope my voice isn't freaking out. Because the last time there was a little bit of staticky poppiness and I've tried to to reduce all the the settings that I can reduce without affecting other portions of the quality without so that it'll record a little bit smoother. Some of it, it's been a little better and I'll have to say that I did did achieve a, some success in that endeavor. Just not a lot. So this one may be better than the last one which was better than the first one. And I don't know what else I could do, though, to do this other than get a new computer. And if I get a new computer, then my vault will be gone. Vaults don't transfer around between computers. You sign into your account, and it says, oh, here's you a new vault. And you're like, <laughs> I wanted it on my laptop. But no, desktop or nothing. No fallout shelter at work for you, son. <laughs> okay. Now, is this the last one? Yeah. So we're almost dead with this little bugger. These guys shooting all the things. Um, we didn't get as much out of this one as we did the last one. That last one, though, man, that was that was all right. They rock. Oh, hey. Are you going to bloop again? Yeah. Bloop. Hey, five. I don't know. I didn't think that would be five because it looked a little off. Did that look a little off to you? It didn't seem like dead center to me. Maybe they're just like, eh, close enough, Brad. We'll give that, give that one to you. I appreciate that game. I really do. You guys are all right for being a giant software company. Built on destroying the planet. And wouldn't it be funny 
if we found out that Bethesda was actually, you know, had secret plans to turn the world into the wasteland, and this was like the that fallout and all those things are like the, you know, just like a training type thing where they're like, hey, how would people survive if we <clears throat> irradiated the booger out of them? Oh, that'd be, it would suck pretty bad for them. Yep, yep. Okay, so we've healed everybody up, and I think that that's it. So we're going to go ahead and boogie back, and I think that that will do it for today. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. Let's do a little do a little uh, after action report here as they say in the military after action report sounds like what used to happen in the boys locker room on Monday mornings well, not that I was ever in the locker room but you know what I'm saying sounds like that kind of thing after action report you bet you buddy okay so we got a good amount we got some blues and we got one thing there so that's from the laser rifle brigade hopefully hopefully i think the next one is the final one and it's going to take these guys a long time to get back so we're looking at you know they'll be back tomorrow afternoon um, oh hang on get out of there sucker these guys man they got they got loaded up with the yellow stuff and this thing, oh, 17 to 19. It's not that great, considering that the Dragon's Maw, which is the super legendary version of that, is like 17 to 29, or maybe even higher on the bottom number. I don't know, it's crazy. And then this was a whole bunch of suck. So that's not really helping us very much. But they're not going to take too long to get back. So tomorrow around this time we should be turning those guys around man I don't know though we may have to spend some more of our valuable quantums but anyway if we do if we have to we have to because that's what we do all right everybody well thank you so much for watching this episode if you liked it then like it and I will catch you on the spatula side Peace.